Dreams and smiles. The third trimester begins with a surge in growth. The baby is now over 15 inches long and gaining about a pound every two weeks. Fat starts layering beneath the skin, creating chubby cheeks that will help regulate temperature after birth. Even more fascinating, the baby has entered REM sleep, the stage where dreaming occurs. This milestone shows how advanced the brain has become, with rapid development continuing daily. For mothers, this stage introduces new challenges. Prenatal checkups increase to every two weeks to closely monitor blood pressure, glucose levels, and fetal growth. Sciatic nerve pain is common, caused by the uterus pressing against nerves in the lower spine and sending shooting sensations down the legs. Warm baths, stretching, and rest can provide relief. Shortness of breath is another hallmark caused by both hormonal changes and the uterus pressing on the diaphragm. Meanwhile, the baby develops refined facial muscles capable of smiling, frowning, and even practicing a cry. Mothers may experience constipation, heartburn, or hemorrhoids. But regular light exercise, like swimming or prenatal yoga, helps ease discomfort while strengthening the body for labor. Many mothers also begin creating a birth plan, outlining preferences for delivery while remaining flexible in case of medical needs. Body changes. As the third trimester progresses, the uterus begins to rehearse for birth. Braxton Hicks contractions, short, irregular tightenings, become noticeable. These practice contractions don't increase in intensity or frequency, but they prepare the muscles for the real event ahead. The breasts also begin producing colostrum, a thick yellowish fluid packed with antibodies and nutrients. This is the baby's first food after birth, designed to strengthen the immune system in the earliest days. Mothers may notice visible body changes, such as a belly button pushing outward due to uterine pressure. Circulatory demands can also trigger heart palpitations, often felt as a racing or skipped heartbeat. While usually harmless, they should be evaluated if paired with chest pain or severe breathlessness. This is also the right time to prepare a hospital bag, packing comfortable clothes, newborn outfits, essential toiletries, and important documents ensures peace of mind in case of an early delivery. Stretch marks. Rapid growth now stretches the skin quickly, leading to the sudden appearance of reddish or purple stretch marks on the belly, thighs, and breasts. These marks later fade to silvery lines but are a clear reminder of how quickly the baby is expanding. Inside the womb, the baby begins turning head down into position for birth. This shift increases pelvic pressure, and lying flat on the back can cause dizziness by compressing major blood vessels. Resting on the left side relieves this pressure and improves circulation. Birth planning deepens as mothers decide who will be present during delivery. Partners, family, doulas, or photographers. Concerns about episiotomy also arise, but most doctors now avoid the procedure unless necessary, since natural tears usually heal better. Perineal massage in the final weeks may help reduce tearing. The baby also reaches a crucial milestone, developing its own immune system by producing antibodies to fight infections after birth. For mothers, fluid retention may cause tingling or numbness in the hands and wrists, pregnancy-related carpal tunnel syndrome. Relief comes from stretching or elevating the hands. Hair changes are also noticeable, with thicker scalp hair, but sometimes new growth on the face or belly. Baby hearing. This stage is defined by two important shifts. The baby's hearing is now fully developed, and mothers must be on alert for signs of preeclampsia. The baby can hear voices, music, and surrounding sounds, making this an ideal time for parents to talk or sing to the bump. Movements change too, less kicking and more wriggling, as space inside the womb grows tighter. For mothers, swelling becomes more pronounced. While mild puffiness is normal, sudden or severe swelling, especially with headaches or vision changes, can indicate preeclampsia, a serious condition marked by high blood pressure and protein in the urine. This requires immediate medical attention to protect both mother and baby. Colostrum leakage may increase, and vaginal discharge is heavier due to hormones and increased blood flow. 
sex drive also varies. Some women feel heightened desire, while others feel fatigued or uncomfortable. Both responses are normal. Baby position. By now the baby is gaining about half a pound each week, adding fat to regulate temperature after birth. Positioning, however, becomes a focus. While many babies naturally move head down, some remain breech, positioned bottom first or feet first. Mothers can try exercises like pelvic tilts or gentle rocking, while doctors may suggest an external cephalic version, a procedure to turn the baby into the correct position. Back pain and pelvic discomfort intensify as the growing weight strains joints and ligaments. Supportive pillows, gentle swimming, and proper body mechanics, like rolling sideways to get out of bed, help reduce strain. Parents also begin setting boundaries with family about postpartum visitors, balancing the need for recovery with offers of support. Baby growth. As delivery nears, the baby drops lower into the pelvis, relieving lung pressure but increasing bladder urgency and pelvic twinges, often called lightning crotch. Prenatal checkups now occur weekly, and group B strep testing is done to determine whether antibiotics are needed during labor. Restless legs may also become more disruptive, but stretching, massage, or calcium supplements before bed often help. Meanwhile, brain development accelerates dramatically, nearly doubling in size between weeks 35 and 39. The lungs also strengthen, producing surfactant, a substance that keeps the air sacs from sticking together and ensures smooth breathing after birth. Mothers are encouraged to count baby kicks, about 10 movements in two hours is considered reassuring. The nesting instinct also becomes powerful, with mothers cleaning, organizing, and preparing the home for the baby's arrival. Labor signs. The body begins signaling readiness for labor. The mucus plug, which sealed the cervix, may be expelled in what's known as the bloody show. This is a clear sign that the cervix is softening, though labor may still be days away. The baby is now considered full term, typically weighing around seven pounds. Skull bones remain unfused, allowing the head to mold during birth. Healthcare providers may check for cervical dilation and offer a membrane sweep, gently separating the amniotic sac from the cervix to stimulate contractions. Mothers may notice rhythmic contractions, pelvic pressure, nausea, or diarrhea. Some may experience water breaking before contractions begin, while others have contractions first. Planned cesarean sections are often scheduled at this stage for safe delivery. The big moment. The due date finally arrives, though only a small percentage of babies are born exactly on time. Babies continue growing hair and nails, and rib pain from strong kicks is common. Labor-inducing myths, like spicy food or pineapple, circulate widely but only semen and nipple stimulation have limited scientific backing for starting contractions. Non-stress tests and ultrasounds are used to monitor the baby while awaiting natural labor. If pregnancy extends past the due date, the placenta begins to age, reducing oxygen and nutrient flow. At this point, doctors discuss induction options such as prostaglandin gel, Foley catheters, or Pitocin IV to trigger contractions. By 42 weeks, the pregnancy is considered post-term, with risks of low amniotic fluid and umbilical cord compression increasing. Induction is strongly recommended if labor has not begun naturally. The third trimester is the home stretch of pregnancy, filled with rapid baby growth, new discomforts, and final preparations for birth. But labor isn't the finish line. It's the start of a whole new stage. After delivery, mothers enter the postnatal period, where recovery, hormonal changes, and newborn care take center stage. In the next video, every stage of pregnancy, postnatal, explained in detail, we'll explore the weeks after birth, from physical healing to emotional adjustments and the baby's earliest milestones.